Um, so we've seen this a few times before. And I've just changed the UI to, to kind of suit what we agreed on last time. Uh, but the idea is to be able to provide um, sitemaps to your site, which will uh, provide an index to Google um, when you're doing your SEO stuff. After your demo, I read an article about sitemaps and there are some features, super weird features. I don't remember which one. In sitemaps, I had no idea what existed. What was it? Something you didn't manage in your demo. Um, so I haven't done images yet, and there's a reason for that. No, not images. I said you didn't manage it. Um, what? I, I hope I will be able to find it. Um, I did localized extensions. Localization. That's it. Thank you. You can define the language on the sitemap entry of the item so that Google will know when indexing a content for which language it has to to index it. So it's it's more than what you get from the Yes, you can relate. Yes, yes, that's it. I think you can relate content items exactly. So when you will be in a content item, you could well on a page, you could say this is the French version of this other page, or that was something like that. I think I, I find an issue. Where I commented on that on Gitter. I don't know where, but I put some notes somewhere. Um, we should turn. We should turn it on then and see what it looks like. Um, Dude, you have a feature called localized content item sitemaps. I do have a feature called localized oh. content of site maps. <laughs> um, and if we're very lucky, it might even work. There is no simple PR. <laughs> no, no, this is not a simple PR. It's quite, it's, it's been um, somewhat complicated. Um, no, it didn't work. I need to go and publish something. That's why. But this screen, I like it. Um, <laughs> it looks so simple. It's the Maori one. OK, so let's publish that. And so it's so these are localization extensions for Google sitemaps. Um, so Bing will still read this site, and but Bing doesn't support the extension. Um, but what you get is the um, the primary content item first, and then the secondaries. Or yeah. Yeah, primary culture of your site first and then and then the secondaries, but you have to reference the initial post first and then specify all of the alternates, including the original post uh, to specify which language the original post is. That's good. Very good. Awesome. Um, so we did that. Um, What's the UI? Yeah, yeah, the UI. That's the important thing here. Yeah. It's simple. Um, simple. Sitemaps. So, add a sitemap. So we rebuilt this to look more like the um, deployment plans. No, building a sitemap. Okay, let's build a sitemap. Let's give it a name. Beautiful. Um, so we have an option here to disable it if you just want to turn it off for a little while. What is that? Um, it's just a enable and disable. Enable to disable the routing. Okay, so you disable the sitemap. Okay. Yeah, so you, so you, if you don't want to delete it, but you're still doing some work on it, so it's not okay. quite publishing as such. It's not like published and draft or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then when we go in here, we can now add sitemap sources to it. Thank you. Of which we've only got the one at the moment, um, which is about content types mostly. Um, so you can either have all of your content types turning up into the the sitemap, um, or you can just choose to put some content types in the sitemap. Um, and there's one other option here, which isn't going to apply to a lot of people, but you also have the ability to limit the the quantity of items because they have a limit of fifty thousand URLs. Correct. 
Um, and it's helpful to know that the localization URLs, um, of which for each content type that was localized there, there's the main URL, the US URL, and the other language, Maori language, is they count as, as three towards that 50,000 mark. Um, so when you're actually doing a localized sitemap, you kind of you come down to about five or ten thousand, um, five thousand or ten thousand items that can actually be in it. Um, so in this one, we could say we could we'll take top ten thousand or something like that. Yeah, so that's an easy option to manage paging if you have lots of con millions of content items you might not want that to manage that this way but then people can build their own sources and exactly. then, yeah. yeah so if you have bigger issues than that if you have one million content items. yeah um and so so there is an, an images extension as well which is very similar to um the the language one that we just looked at um where you can specify metadata for the images um as well um I haven't built a sitemap source for that because how you would do that is probably custom to how you've done your site and your content types um, and your um, alternate um, text for images. But you can build one um, to, to do your images as well without too much difficulty. So we have that. And then if you are doing um, a lot of sitemaps, I've got three of them here at the moment, um, we also have just a single index um, where you say sitemap index, where you say which your um, which sitemaps this one contains. Um, so if we save that, then it's just got the first sitemap. Which is just a reference that you can um, use in your robots text to allow Google to index a lot of sitemaps or to, to reference a lot of sitemaps. So can you show again the menu because I see sitemaps? How did you go to the sitemaps? Sorry, it's just it's down. Maps and sitemap index. Okay. Sitemaps, sitemap index. Uh, so nothing too complicated. This one's a little, um, it's a little unusual because normally you'd click on this and you'd go to a list, um, for example, but because there was only one of them, because we decided that we'd, um, we'd only have one to make it a little bit less complicated. I will make a suggestion and you yeah. will tell me. <laughs> I like to make you suggestions. Yeah, uh, does <laughs> So, sitemap index. Um, why not just have sitemaps and a source will be sitemaps? So we had done that, we had kind of had something like that originally where you clicked add sitemap here and you could choose to add an index or, um, or yeah, an that's not, a, and that's not what I'm saying. No. You add sitemap, you call it, you name it sitemap index.xml. And then you say add source. And the sitemap is made of, so what, what, show me actually, maybe I'm wrong. If you show me the sitemap index and a sitemap to see the, the tagging. So this is a sitemap index. Which I want to see the file. That's it. The file. Oh, the file. The content. Uh, where are we? So this is the index and it yeah. contains site, you see? Yeah. Sitemap index, okay. Sitemap, look. And now go to the sitemap index. Sorry, the sitemap, the, this other one, yeah. It contains, okay, it's not the same file, the same thing. Okay, good. Yeah. I, no, I different schema. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I said, this, the UI is a little unusual because you'd normally come to a list here rather than just a single item, um, which is why there's a delete button, That's weird. which which is just it's, it's a little weird. So I haven't quite um, figured out what to do with that. That's weird. Uh, so I mean, I can just put a list on that and you can just have one, um, but it's just we don't really have anything else like that where there's just one item you can just have one sitemap index um yeah that's what you uh, you can have multiples but um remember we talked about this and you just wanted to have, have one just to keep it simpler but it is weird so 
So it was probably the only bit on the UI that I really wanted to kind of cover off and figure out if we could do a little differently. Yeah, if you want to make a list, I mean, fine by me. I don't see why I would have said that. I would have said that just make a page like this if it can be a list of things. Yeah, I mean, we can make it a list, um, but it's only going to have one item in it. Why? I just said that we could have multiple indexes so we can have different names and. Uh, yeah, no, well, I think last time we went through this, you just wanted to have the one index. What? No. Yeah. Yeah, I can never remember. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, we talked about how, what the button should show when you click add, because first it was add, but if you, can you go to the sitemaps list? What, yeah, what, uh, what, what, yeah, but you should say, yeah, last time we discussed uh, art sitemap or art sitemap index, and then you clicked art sitemap, and then you got the, the, the pop up, and then it was confusion. Okay, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. So, but I think it's, yeah, it's weird that you click open sitemaps, and then it says sitemaps again. I'm like, did I just not click on that? But yeah, you could show them both in one list. But two list is fine. You have sitemaps and you have sitemap indexes. I don't see. Yeah, but for me, it's weird that you have sitemaps, sitemaps, sitemaps index. It's, uh, there's a lot of sitemap. So, oh, I know you are talking about the menu on the left. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's a bit. Maybe you could somehow present it in one screen, or or would it be too much? Yeah. yeah. No. So you're just wanting to do one screen just because the menu on the left is confusing and I don't like it. Okay, it's just sorry. Fix the menu, don't fix the screen. There are two different lists. It's like, no, it's okay. Well, there, there, there are notes, notes that you host. Easy enough. Because it, is, it, doesn't, it doesn't work right. Yeah, my comment was just about the fact that there is only one side map index. And that could be any. Like there can be any sitemaps. And you build all indexes based on the sitemaps you want. Even if the same sitemap is used in two different indexes, that's fine. Um, well, I'm sure it's just a UI constraint. Not a, not a it's constraint. just UI. I mean, I actually left the data behind it capable. Yeah, so we can, we can change it later. If there's, there's no problem. Then the fact that the menu has sitemaps, sitemaps, uh, there must be a good way to fix it. One way to fix it is not to have it, to have the first sitemap node, just to keep in somewhere sitemaps and sitemap index. You can remove the sitemaps node, and that would be fine. But I don't. Know. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if we had on these these menus the ability for for the top level to actually be a link to something. What? Call the top level one SEO, and you can have the sitemaps and sitemaps index, and later uh, all the things you want for SEO, and then. Why, why, not, why not just remove the top level one? Yeah, well, because you will have two items for sitemaps, and so? then when you want to add um, metadata and everything, you will want it also in the SEO because people will look at SEO. Yeah, we call it SEO. That's actually a, that's actually a good a good idea because we have an SEO PR coming on because we always have we always have multiple links to stuff. Um, like indexing has you know Lucene and Run. We don't. We don't put them on on a, together on a top level as, as two items. But SEO is good. We can call it that. Yeah. Why not? We just need to change the name yeah, of the better. topic. That's that's the yes. thing. Okay. That's, good. All good. Cool. Um, I think there was one other thing I did with this as well, but I probably won't demo it now. But um, there is a decoupled feature for it as well. Um, if you're using decoupled pages, so you can include your content types. And there. Um, but that's all documented, so it's it's reasonably easy to do. Awesome. Thank you, Dean.